We're back in PLP's research and testing lab today to talk about two additional sections of the GR7714 standard. If you missed our last video, be sure to check it out. We discussed thermal aging, cotton cold assembly, and thermal cycling. But today, we're going to talk about the freeze thaw and the water resistance tests that are part of this extensive list of generic requirements for fiber optic splice closures. To ensure a closure meets the standard for freeze thaw, the closure is assembled and then placed in an environmental chamber with sand and submerged in water. The chamber will freeze and then thaw the water in the tank for 10 cycles or roughly 7 days. After the testing time is complete, the closure is removed and inspected for water intrusion. And if no water intrusion occurred, the closure is determined to meet the section of the standard. Another test is related to water resistance, and this is determined by the deployment method being used for the closure. For example, this Coyote 9528 dome closure would be used in a handful. So, per the standard, it needs to be submerged in 20 feet of water for at least seven days. The closure is put into a water chamber, then pressure is introduced to simulate the 20 foot depth. After about a week of being submerged, the closure is removed and visually inspected for evidence of water intrusion. If none is present, the closure passes this section of the standard. Both of the tests discussed in this video help ensure that closures deployed in either a handhole or manhole maintain their integrity even after severe rainfall or flooding. Thanks for watching this episode of PLP's Fiber Tips and Tricks.